Hi again, fellow unlicensed thinkers. Let's talk about being identified with your battles. But before we get into that, if you could go ahead and hit the like button for me, I can't quite reach it from here. Thank you very much. I'm going to do this a little bit different today because I'm not really going to give you any answers. I'm going to ask you questions today. And I think they're important questions to consider. I don't know what the right answers are. That has to be determined for you. But it really does have to do with, are you identified with the battles that you fight? Who are you without that enemy? Do you need to have an enemy in order to define who you are? Who are you in times of peace when you don't have an enemy to fight, when you're not angry with someone? Who are you? Is this fighting something? Is it, is it all that you know? What if your war has ended and you're still fighting? What if you've already won the war? Are you identified with the battle even after that battle has ended? Did you already achieve the goal that you were trying to achieve? And now you've been forced to move on to something else. You've been forced to move the goalpost, to redefine your goal. Do you feel that what you've achieved isn't good enough or you just still need to fight? We've often heard the phrase, you can die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. So then the question is, how far will you go in your battle? Will you try to convince your opponent? Will you debate your opponent? Will you try to ruin their life or imprison them? Perhaps you would be okay with hurting them or killing them. How far will you go? What is it worth doing in order for you to win your battle, for you to be in the battle? Perhaps you're finding enemies and creating enemies so that you can still fight the battle. Are they really evil or do you need them to be evil? Do you need to, in your mind, make them out to be evil so that you can still have a battle to fight? Do you need this battle to feel like a good person? Are you turning your allies into enemies so that you can keep fighting your battle? Have you become that identified with it? Are you afraid that if you stop fighting, those who you have fought alongside, they will turn you into their enemy? Are your tactics so extreme against your shared enemy that you fear them being used on you? Are you making those you fight alongside feel the same fear of being turned on? A lot of times we're trying to relive or recreate a glory that we felt in the past, some kind of honor that we felt. Like we're all familiar with the trope of the high school athlete that was the star football player or whatever. And they just keep reliving that. They keep telling the story of when they were that star athlete in high school because they're not happy with who they are now. Maybe, maybe the other trope we could bring up is the veteran who went to war and fought in an actual battle, but they aren't able to leave the battle behind. That battle is who they are and they're looking for those enemies. Are you doing the same thing? And at what point do you realize that you have become your own enemy in your fight? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to hit like and share the video. Have a great day.